Hi everyone, we're Calvin here. So uh, we just finished weekly contest 147. So let's discuss about the third question, largest one border square. So we are given a grid uh, of uh, one and zero, and then we are be we're being asked to return the largest subgrid that have one or one on its border and or zero if such grid doesn't exist in the grid. It means like every um, value inside is zero so there are no square so we should return zero instead in that case so um, yeah so if you see on the first example here um, it, it will form a three times three square with one zero in the middle right but since we only care about the border is all one so we return a nine in that case because three times three is nine and on the second case here one one zero zero Mm, the case itself is um, the maximum grid is one because one one is not a square but it's a rectangle but the actual square is only one or this one right so return one in that case so um, I created another cases here so if you see from this case um, actually from here until here right is four times four right so it should return 16 even though this one is zero it also will return 16 because the entire square here is four times four right yeah so how are we going to check this question so we need to form two kind of grid um, the horizontal box and vertical box so from these test cases uh, what we will get is like um, zero one two three four one two three four and zero so this is like we count the number of one horizontally every time we found a one a sequence of one we store the number like zero one two three four zero and then one two zero one two zero and until here one two three four five six it's a chain right so that is the horizontal box and the vertical box is uh, we loop it through vertically so zero and then here one two three four five six and then zero and then one again so every time it meant zero it reset to zero right and here one two three four five six and then zero zero and then one right so this is called a vertical box so once we finish with those two boxes what we can do is like um oh yeah this is the print just ignore it uh, we need to check like uh, on these two grid like um we find like um, horizontal, uh, vertically, um, the maximum here is seven, right, in this node. And the maximum here is six on the vertical one. It means um, vertically, it, it have um, six chain and horizontally, it have seven chain. But is that enough for us to validate the square? It's not really enough because um, we not only just need this node. So, for example, we assume like um, six and seven, the minimum is six, right? So six upward here, uh, sorry, yeah, seven and six. So six upward here, it should be six. Why? Because it also need like the entire loop here, like six to the side. And here also needs six to the side, right? Before you can form a square of six so here yeah, here we know it's not possible so six is not an option six and seven we took the minimum six six and here is not possible so even though we take it from here like seven go go down seven but um oh yeah go uh six six downward right because the minimum is six two to seven is possible but take a look at um, the right side like the because uh, square have two two area right the right one and left one so left one on the we, we minus six column backward so here you see it's one so here is not a chain one two three four five six or two three four five six seven or at least something greater than six so we need to validate this also to be at least six which isn't the case right so forming a square with the border of six is not possible in that case and then we need to decrease it try five so five also not possible here if you see five um here seven so we we target five so here five is it, it, there isn't five here it's only one right so five is not possible in that case uh, 
we don't need to check both of the square but only one of them so let's decrease it again to four so seven minus four this column having at least four the size of four so it's valid right so the right border and left border uh, have the chain of at least four here is four and here is seven but we don't care about the upper one so it's only this four and this four so it's valid and here six minus four so we got the column here right so this one sorry yeah we, we got the row here six so here is have the chain of at least four and four upward it also have the chain of at least four so four is valid in that case so when it's valid we store it uh, four, four as the maximum and at the end we square it by two so let's take a look on the code so here as i said um, we validate the horizontal box by the so horizontal box is the second box here uh, the first box here so when we find a minimum of four we go four upward to check right and if it also um, fulfill the minimum size then it's okay uh, we will take it and also we need the hot uh, vertical box also compatible uh, compatible with it so vertical box we check by the column minus one so that's why here when we find the size of four upward is okay we also minus four here to check like right? oh it's also at least of four yeah so um, we need three loop the, fir the first two loop is to find all the nodes of the candidate node here right the we, we look through all of it so it's a the complexity is the grid times grid so let's assume the grid is n it, it will in n square and then for this size at worst case we need to check on every size possible like the minimum size but it keep decreasing to find so as i see, show you uh, as i saw show, uh, show you there seven is not possible we decrease to five and decrease to four and we find the answer we store it temporarily as the maximum and keep looping but of course the loop only we, we only care if the potential size is still larger than our candidate uh, otherwise we don't need to reconsider that and we multiply uh, we multiply it like uh, by the output size types output size to get the area so that's it about this question and thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest